Today we're diving deep into the secrets of vitality and conquering erectile dysfunction. We are unearthing the most incredible strategies to not just treat ED, but rejuvenate your love life and reignite your confidence. Let's get right into it. Erectile dysfunction is the ability to achieve uh, or maintain a penile erection sufficient for sexual activity. But having erection trouble from time to time, it's necessarily a cause for concern nothing to sweat over but when it's consistent so we're talking about a really shutdown buckle up here's where the real magic happens let's talk nitrous oxide the superhero of blood flow when it's unleashed by your blood vessel it signals your arteries to relax letting the flood gates open for much better circulation and blood flow. Imagine your arteries as a highway to pleasure, smoother the ride, and more exciting the journey. We now have four ED medications FDA approved to treat erectile dysfunction, all act the same way, increasing blood flow to the penile artery. Uh, Viagra, Sildenafil was first approved in 98, but then the Filovitra and Tadalafil Cialis approved in 2003, and the Venafil standard was approved in 2012. They are all effective and uh, very safe, but uh, any other medication, they still have some side effects and some contraindications, a fancy way of saying that they do not mix and they will clash with each other. Erectile dysfunction and the number one killer, coronary artery disease, are really two manifestations of the same disease inflamed clogged arteries. And here, hardening of the arteries leads to softening of the pinions, since the stiffened arteries do not relax to let the blood flow in. And today we're delving into the top 10 natural ways of improving ED. We are looking at ways of improving nitrous oxide. Let's uh, dive into it. Number one, diet. A 2020 study found that a man following a Mediterranean diet or alternative healthy eating index 2010 had a reduced risk of developing erectile dysfunction. They consumed essentially less red meat, less processed meats, and instead consumed more fruits, more vegetables, more legumes, more nuts and more seeds. Hold on into your hats. We will unveil the fantastic top 10 nitrate powerhouses that trigger the veggie Viagra effect. These incredible foods are your secret weapon, delivering the boost you need for those memorable moments. Here we go, number 10, beets. Number nine, Swiss chard. Number eight, oak leaf lettuce. Number seven, beet greens. Number six, basil. Number five, mesclun greens. Number four, butter leaf lettuce. Number three, cilantro. Number two, rhubarb. Number one, arugula. And watermelon contains citrulline that activates an enzyme responsible for directing blood vessels in your penis as well. And yellow watermelon has actually four times more citrulline than the red variety. And pistachios, I started found that men we need three or four handful of pistachios a day for three weeks improve blood flow to the penis leading to firmer erections. And other fruits and vegetables, both choy and carrots, garlic, dark chocolate, pomegranates and nuts and seeds all helpful. What to avoid to prevent erectile dysfunction? There are two pesky villains. One is the plain sugars and alcohol. Plain sugars increase the chance of develop atherosclerotic plaque and damage in the tree. Alcohol also decreases nitroxide in your body. Number two, exercise. According to one Harvard study, just 30 minutes of walking a day drop the risk of erectile dysfunction by 41%. Exercises increases blood flow to all parts of your body, including your pinions, and any workout that gets your heart rate going, your muscles contracting, your sweat glands working is fine. Walking, uh, brisk walking, jogging, running, uh, swimming, biking, they're all terrific options. They improve blood vessel health and lower stress and raises your testosterone levels as well. And as you know, the recommendations for exercise are 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week or 75 minutes a week of high intensity exercise. We need to add two sessions a week of strength training, weights as well to minimize muscle loss, sarcopenia. Number three, sleep. A 2017 study showed that men working night shifts report a poor sleep quality and a higher risk of erectile dysfunction. Also, people with obstructive sleep apnea have a higher risk of VD. So not getting enough sleep can lower your testosterone level, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Sleep is very important to overall health and good sleep improves erectile dysfunction. Number four, stress. Stress, anxiety, depression are main predictors of VD. And reducing stress in your daily life will improve your overall health and clear the clouds and watch your love life shine.
Number five, smoking. Smoking says cigarettes, my friends, they've got to go. Smoking doesn't just cloud the skies, it's also a total buzz kill for your blood vessels that say goodbye to smoke and hello to newfound vigor. Smoking damages the blood vessels, preventing that blood from reaching the penis. In addition, smoking reduces nitrous oxide in your body in general. So quit smoking will improve UED, especially in men under 50. Number six, counseling and sex therapy for couples. So 10 to 25% of the men with ED have no known risk factors. They really have what we call psychogenic ED. They may suffer from anxiety, disorders, depression, and cognitive behavior therapy and other psychological interventions may be helpful. Number seven, alcohol. Alcohol depresses the center of the system, including the nerves to your penis, causing erectile dysfunction. If you drink, you need to limit your recommendations to drinks for men and one drink for women. And be careful, avoid the triad of alcohol hot tubs and ED medications because they can lower your blood pressure to dangerous levels. Number eight, weight loss. Size matters here. Let's get really about weight loss, not just for the mirror, but for vitality overall. ED is more common in men who are overweight or obese. A man with a 42 inch waist is 50% more likely to have erectile dysfunction than one with a 32 inch waist. Losing the weight will help your fight erectile dysfunction. There are actual small studies, even in uh, morbid obese individuals who underwent bariatric surgery, and they lost the weight and improved her ED. If you want to learn more how to lose weight, watch these videos in search of the ideal weight loss diet. What about keto? Part two, I'll put a link on the top in the description below. Number nine, psychotherapy, psychological issues, anxiety, disorder, depression, fear of failure, prayer, sexual trauma, they all contribute to ED. Addressing these issues with psychological interventions uh, may be helpful as well. And number 10, vascular health. Remember, your arteries are ways of life, and keeping them healthy is like maintaining a masterpiece, and it's the key to transforming ED into a distant uh, memory. If you have high blood pressure, if you have high blood sugar, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, all of these will damage your vascular health throughout your body. If you damage the arteries in your heart, it will cause a heart attack. If you damage the arteries in the brain, it will cause a stroke. If you damage the arteries in the penis, it will cause erectile dysfunction. And remember, erectile dysfunction affects 30 million American men. 100 million worldwide. Although we have very effective treatments addressing the root causes of ED, you're not only improving your sex life, you're improving the entire vascular system as well, your heart, your brain. They always say what's good for your heart, it's good for your brain, and it's good for your penis as well. Do not ignore ED. It could be the canary in the cold mine. And stay empowered, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay vibrant. Your life, your love, your vitality, they all deserve to shine brightly. Remember, your health is your most precious asset. Take control. See you next video.